Hello everybody and welcome to the Friday practice review for the 2020 Tuscan Grand Prix here at Mugello. For the first time, Formula 1 is racing around this legendary circuit. Let's take a look at the Drivers' and the Constructors' Championship. We remain in Italy, however this is something new. Welcome to Mugello for the Tuscan Grand Prix. It's the ninth stop on this 17 race calendar. After this, a week off before we head over to Russia. Then the second leg of the triple headers of classic races when we get Eiffel, Portugal and Emilia Romana. Then we get Turkey, Bahrain, the Shakir circuit on the outer and the season rounds out in Abu Dhabi. Just nine races left. It's all go from here. Lewis Hamilton leads the Drivers' Championship on 164 points to Valtteri Bottas' 47 back. Max Verstappen is in third place, but the battle between the midfield is hotting up between Lance Stroll, Lando Norris, Alexander Albon, Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly, Carlos Sainz and Daniel Ricciardo. We have a six-way fight for the midfield teams in the top ten. On the second page, Sergio Perez on 34 points leads Esteban Ocon on 30. Vettel, no points last time out, still on 16. Six for Hülkenberg after that one race. Then Kvyat leads a Giovinazzi and Magnussen. No points on the board still for Raikkonen and Latifi, Russell and Grosjean. In the Constructors' Championship, Mercedes leads the way. 281 points, 123 clear. The battle for the midfield. McLaren, Racing Point, Renault and Ferrari all joining in. Alfa Torre in the fight. Two points to Alfa Romeo. Hassan won and still no points for Williams. It's Ferrari's 1,000th Grand Prix here at Mugello. Welcome to the Friday Practice Review for the Tuscan Grand Prix. It's a wonderful circuit, and thanks to Assetto Corsa, we can actually provide you with a lap attack to this amazing circuit. Built first off in 1974, at about three miles long, it is absolutely insane. Here's the lap in Mugello. <coughs> Let's take a look around the brand new circuit on this year's calendar, Mugello. Starting off then, it's a very tight last corner. Perfect exit speed here will give you the run all the way down the long start finish straight. Only one DRS detection zone at the start finish straight, so you can open that up, get the straight line speed, move towards the centre of the track, but drift towards the pit lane exit as it goes in a straight line on the curve down towards the first corner. The maximum overtaking spot we could see in the race, a hard right uphill corner, turn two and three immediately come, left-hander, easy to go off on the gravel before the third corner. Four and five up next, pretty much a repeat of turns one and two. Expect to see a lot of drama in qualifying as teams try and take this flat out. Drop down the hill now, maximum elevation change here, Downhill braking zone, right hander into turn six, turn seven, eight, and nine. The Aqua Barana one and two, absolutely flat out in a Formula One car. We had to lift here because we just couldn't get the room in. Aqua Barana two, then uphill section in turn nine, turn and eleven, downhill section, sort of leap back on each other. And this will be the interesting point in the braking zone going forward. Let the car drift wide in exit 11, ride up now to turns 12 and 13. So another chicane area as well. Valentino Rossi broke his leg here back in 2010, missing half the season of course. This it oozes MotoGP history, it's completely new for Formula 1. A flat out chicane before you're back towards the start finish straight once again. The last corner, flick it in, get the apex right, let the car drift up wide, get it straight in the middle of the track, open up the DRS and fire towards the line. That is a lap of the new Mugello circuit for Formula 1, spin around since 1974, but finally it's Formula 1 to go at this legendary circuit. 
Okay, let's go on to the first practice report then. As ever, it was Valtteri Bottas topping the timesheets on the brand new circuit here in Formula One. Max Verstappen was second for Red Bull. Charles Leclerc surprising everybody going in to third place. The only reason that was that, for according to Matteo Bonotto, is that these two drivers was Vettel and Leclerc know this circuit of old. As Ferrari going to their 1,000th Grand Prix event, the low downforce circuit as well suited the Mercedes setup a lot more. However, of course, Ferrari used this track as a filming day early on in the year. They've got fresh experience of this track. 90 minutes of the session then. Bottas time, a 1.17.879. 30 seconds clear. 30. Unbelievable. Compared to the MotoGP guys. Unbelievable. Uh, he was 0.048 quicker than Verstappen in the first session as well. Leclerc in the burgundy retro liveried uh, Ferrari for this year uh, for this race. Uh, Harking back to the Ferrari 125 car that took part in Monaco in 1950. Uh, last weekend's Italian Grand Prix was very good for Pierre Gasly. Uh, he took, of course, took his first ever victory in the sport. He was fifth fastest over Alfa Torre ahead of Esteban Ocon and. Kvyat was within a second of Bottas in P7 as well. Raikkonen, precisely on the 20th anniversary, his first ever test in a Formula 1 car at Mugello to the day. How weird is that to be here with Formula 1 again? Uh, also was fastest in 11th place, the fastest of all so far uh, going forward. Top five was Bottas, Verstappen, Leclerc, Hamilton, Gasly. Carlos Sainz, fresh from his second podium last time out in Italy. 15th from McLaren, he was half a second behind Norris as well. But still, it was good. George Russell, the only driver to set a faster time in the mediums in the session, so it was all going well. But yeah, the drivers are still finding their feet in Tuscany. Let's take a look at the times from FP1. <coughs> So Valtteri Bottas tops the first practice session here at Mugello at 117.879. Max Verstappen is second at 117.927. Charles Leclerc third at 118.186. Lewis Hamilton is fourth on a 118.409. Pierre Gasly the top five at 118.676. Followed back, Esteban Ocon is sixth fastest at 118.805. Danny Kvyat is seventh on a 118.839. Lando Norris eighth fastest to 118.981. Alexander Albon, 9th, at 119.068. Daniel Ricciardo rounds out the top 10, a 119.140. Kimi Raikkonen is 11th on a 119.219. Roman Grosjean, 12th on a 119.224. Sebastian Vettel, 13th, at 119.267. Antonio Giovinazzi, 14th, at 119.322. Carlos Sainz, 15th, on a 119.457. George Russell, 16th, on a 119.478. Kevin Magnussen, 17th, a 119.551. Lance Stroll is in 18th, a 119.836. Sergio Perez, 19th, 119.840. And then Nicholas TV in 20th on a 120.034. <laughs> The second practice saw more of an interesting feature of this Mugello circuit be exposed, the very tight pit exit down at Turn 1. But it wasn't our first of three eventual red flags in the second practice session. A very busy afternoon. Valtteri Bottas topped the timesheets once again uh, as well. He was just quicker than Hamilton and Red Bull's Max Verstappen behind 0.039, separating them in an incredible time. Bottas, one uh, sixteen nine eight nine. Nine, breaking that record again and again and again. Looking fantastic going forward. Hamilton two tenths back as well. But there was drama mid-session for Lando Norris coming out of turn one up onto the quick turn two complex. At the exit of the chicane into three, got a wheel on the gravel trap. It spun him round and into the wall, knocked off his front wing and the car stalled, causing the red flag. Couldn't do anything about it, unfortunately. That brought out, as I said, the first red flag as well. Ten minutes later, the session restarted and Verstappen popped up to third, Alexander Albon was fourth and Danny Ricciardo rounding out the top five. The biggest one though was the fact that coming out of the pit lane, Sergio Perez has just been fired by Racing Point for Sebastian Vettel to come in next year when the team become Aston Martin. Perez coming out of the pit lane, Kimi Raikkonen knowing he was there, swipes him off and the two make contact into turn one. A very, very 
ugly scene uh, and very dangerous scene as well. Coming downhill, it is the breaking zone for turn one. Raikkonen just swoops in, and what were you going to do there? A fence, car 11, contact with car 7. And I don't I didn't agree with this. It's just been, it's just been announced by the stewards. I've just got it here. Um, it's 4.11 of course, here in the UK when we're filming this with the Friday Review. Driver Sergio Perez, uh, BWT Racing Point, we know that. Caused a collision with car seven in turn one. Breach of Article 2D of Chapter 4, Appendix L of the FIA International Sporting Code. And he's been given a drop of one grid position going forward. And one penalty point on the license as well. This is the reason the stewards heard from the driver of car 11, Sergio Perez, and the team representative, and have reviewed video evidence and radio transmissions. The driver of car 11 was warned by his team of the approach of car 7 and car 23 as he was leaving the pit exit. There was a blue flag waved to him prior to turn 1, and it was apparent that he saw car 7 in his mirrors. The driver argued that the pit exit is extremely long, and he had reached a higher speed by the time he was uh, passed car 7 to turn 1 and was able to take a different line into the third. Well, I don't agree that it's Sergio Perez's fault. I think that in, personally, in my opinion, that was definitely Kimi Raikkonen's fault going forward. I don't see why they've given that. I'm just reading off the monitor that's at the bottom of my screen. Uh, in in uh, deciding penalties, the stewards considered other similar incidents in free practice, including Bottas in Abu Dhabi 2019, which was a rep reprimand, and Vettel in Bahrain 2015, five years ago, uh, as well uh, in practice. We consider that there is some merit in mitigating penalty and therefore reduce the normal penalty for an offence of this type from three places to one, noting that a grid penalty is appropriate as car 11 was exiting the pits, whereas car 7 was on a fast lap and therefore the drive 11, uh, driver of car 11 was wholly to blame. No, he wasn't. The stewards here are being a bit ridiculous. Who's the driver stewards? Mika Salo. Well, doesn't that just say everything? Mika Salo, driver steward. I could barely keep it on the track when he was a driver anyway. I do not agree with that personally. I'm sorry, I really don't. How was Perez coming out of the pit lane supposed to brake test? He was at the pit exit and then Raikkonen comes in and swipes him off. No, that's Raikkonen's fault, not mine. Let me know in the comments what you think about that one, but I don't agree with that. Um, competitors are minded all the to protest, we get all that, but no, I don't agree with that whatsoever. So that was the reason for the second red flag, as there was a bit of front wing of Alfa Romeo on the track and of Racing Point. And then the third red flag was Sebastian Vettel at the end of the session, coming to a stop uh, before after the Agribiata corners, and that was even worse as well going forward, as it just summed up Ferrari's 1000th Grand Prix and their 70th season in the sport. A big thumbs down. Right, let's take a look at the times then from FP2. Savatu so Bottas makes it two for two here at Mugello. A 116.989, his fastest time in Leeds practice two. Lewis Hamilton is second, a 117.196. It's Max Verstappen in third on a 117.235. His teammate Alexander Albon in fourth, a 117.971. Danny Ricciardo rounds out top five for Renault, a 118.039. Esteban Ocon for Renault, sixth, a 118.115. Sergio Perez is seventh, a 118.198. Pierre Gasly, eighth fastest, a 118.244. Kimi Raikkonen, ninth, a 118.385. And Charles Leclerc is tenth on a 118.4. Then we get Lance Stroll in eleventh, a 118.462. Sebastian Vettel, twelfth, a 118.498. Carlos Sainz is 13th, the 118.651. Lando Norris crashing out in the session is now 14th, just nine laps on the board, a 118.658. Danny Kvyat is 15th on a 118.736. George Russell 16th, a 118.843. Antonio Giovinazzi 17th, the 118.944. Nicholas Latifi is 18th, a 118.983. Kevin Magnussen 19th. A 119-113 and stuck in the garage with engine and gearbox issues. Roman Grosjean on is 20th on a 119-257. We're back tomorrow with live coverage at 10.55 for the third practice session. The Saturday practice review is at 1.30, qualifying at 1.55. All times are British summer times. We'll be back live tomorrow. But meantime, Valtteri Bottas leads the way in Florence, Tuscany, here at the Mugello Circuit. Bye for now.